Nation's oldest man and World War II veteran, Austinite Richard Overton, has died at the age of 112. His family confirmed that for us tonight. Volma Overton Jr., his cousin, says, quote, we're truly going to miss him. He was the joy of our days. He added, we are truly blessed for everyone who has shown support and prayers, everyone who was encouraging to him and our family. We are so thankful. Tonight, we take a look back at Mr. Overton's military service and recent rise into national spotlights. Six years before the Titanic sank and nearly a decade before World War I began, May 11, 1906. Richard Overton was born in Bastrop County. Between Lockhart and Bastrop. When Overton was 35 years old, Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, throwing the United States into World War II. Overton enlisted nine months later. I I he joined an all-black military unit in 1942, I always let, huh? I always let going. becoming a skilled sharpshooter. Overton rose to the rank of corporal, serving in places like Pearl Harbor, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa, where he came under fire. After the war ended, Overton retired and built his East Austin home when the city had just 100,000 people. All these big buildings, these highways, these trees, I've seen all of this Austin go up. Seventy years after fighting in World War II, President Barack Obama invited Overton to spend Veterans Day 2013 in Washington. Today, Richard still lives in the house that he built all those years ago, rakes his own lawn, and every Sunday he hops in his 1971 Ford truck and drives one of the nice ladies in his neighborhood to church. And the attention didn't so, stop there. In the same year, he was congratulated on his birthday by former Governor Rick Perry. ROTC members from the University of Texas and Austin Community College painted his house and landscaped his yard. I appreciate it. At 109, he spent Veterans Day in the hospital battling pneumonia. He wanted everybody to know that he's, he'll be just fine. And he was, ringing in 110 with hundreds of family and friends a few months later. And I feel that I made a, I made a record. That's a record that nobody had made yet. His secret, not an apple a day. I started smoking cigars when I was 18 years old, and I'm still smoking cigars. But I don't hail the smoke. That's reading my heart, and everything is so perfect. His advice for living a healthy, long life? I'd ask him to stay busy and talk to the Lord and live with the Lord. Don't live with the people, live with the Lord. Let him take care of you. Toward the end of 2016, Mr. Overton needed round-the-clock care at home, but he could not afford that, and the VA benefits did not cover it, so his family reached out for help. And since that time, the account has raised more than $450,000 from nearly 9,000 donors from around the country.